gotta go to Walmart. I don't have like any groceries at all. Well, not even Walmart. I just gotta go to freaking Aldi or something to, to start up again with the whole bulk. I get off track when I have work on a Sunday because I won't have time to meal prep. Maybe I'll just have to kind of adjust my days, you know what I'm saying? So like whenever I meal prep, I do like Saturday or if I have work on Sunday. I don't know. I don't know. We got work though, so let's, let's, let's do work first. We'll talk a little bit more, all right? Guys, this is dangerous. Dave's Hot Chicken's on DoorDash now. <laughs> yes, this is bad. This is bad. My bank account, my bank account is screaming. Stop it. Get some help. My own account of the Stay With Me is such a good song. Not the Sam Smith one. That's a good song too. Oh, I hate that. Bro, stop. Stop. What you mean I don't have Riz? That's bullshit. You don't have Riz. Come on, man. All right, as I was saying, though, this is dangerous. Not only for my bank account, but, well, for my bank account, yeah. Did they put cheese on the f***ing slider? You're supposed to put it on the slider. What the f***? Do you want a fry desk? There's some Dave sauce, too. I know, I've never had this place. Yeah, a couple fries. Here, just take a bite from the chicken. I don't care. Take a bite of the chicken, man. That's just that good. good. The chicken? Mm-hmm. Did you already take a bite, bro? <laughs> oh, bro, you took a bite out of the wrong phone. <laughs> he sucks at everything. <laughs> nice, nice. You know, boys, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I haven't door dashed in a very long time. Like a month and maybe a month and a half. It's been a minute. This doesn't mean that I'm going to be back into the, the, the door dash grind again, but maybe once in a while, if I don't have food here, uh, I'll, I'll indulge in a little bit of door dash. But I think for the most part, I'm going to be having, you know, meal preps and all that kind of stuff. So I think I'll have to say goodbye to door dash for a little bit. Come back to it whenever it's convenient, not like every day. You know what I mean? I think it's overall a good thing anyway that, you know, you don't door dash. I think that's pretty common knowledge, but having to figure out what to eat, having to buy the ingredients, cook and all that kind of stuff. You learn a lot during that time, you know what I mean? You spend less money, you learn more. The food will just be better overall. But I am being a little bit of a fatty right now. Dave's are just really good, bro. The pickles, oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a nice little pre-workout release. Uh, I'm just here to change, but then after that, I'm gonna go to the gym. I think, I think your boy's gonna try doing, your boy's gonna, I, I can't speak, I, can, I actually can't speak. Your boy is going to uh, have a pre-workout that has stim in it today. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy today because today's leg day. I don't really care about you know the 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 caffeine stuff. So I'll take the caffeine because I heard some studies that like if you have caffeine with your with your pre-workout, caffeine is kind of like a it kind of constricts your veins. There's less like blood flow and stuff. I don't know. I could be talking out of my but that's why I don't um uh I don't use pre-workout that has caffeine in it while I'm doing like upper body stuff because not enough blood gets into like the, the muscles and that stuff. So when it comes to leg day. I just want power. I just want to be strong in my legs. So let me finish my pre-workout release. All right, how's it going? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my creatine here, but I've been giggling about this thing for about 10 minutes now. This is one of the funniest things I've seen today. I've seen it before, but I got recommended this like a couple minutes ago, so. <laughs> so you guys know young boy, right? This man drops like an album every month. So the thing is he's only dropped one album this year, right? This leads me to the little clip that I want to show you guys. He had a song in his newest album called uh, Compliments of Grave Digger Mountain, which this is the cover for you. It, it's one of the worst. <laughs> this video is called Worst Ad Lib and Rap, uh, which yeah, probably. Let's take a listen. Like I said, I've seen this before, but I just wanted to make sure one more time that this is actually a real thing, right? So I went to the song called Try Me, and um... <laughs> Someone said, bro fell off the Grave Digger Mountain. <laughs> the ops caught him mid <laughs> Bro got shot mid-recording. <laughs> it scares you back into paying attention. <laughs> Bro got raptured mid song. I don't know. Blood brought his bald eagle in the studio. Bro went into uncontrollable rage mid first. <laughs> it's funny when it's a young boy. When you know damn well it's so auto tuned, and I can tell you now, I can tell you now with with high guarantee that, <laughs> that scream had no auto tune. He's like, how the f do I make an ad lib out of this? He's like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
It sounds like an iPhone recording. <laughs> this is the most miserable 11 seconds of this whole week, bro. I disagree. This is, this is the funniest thing I've seen this week. <laughs> Young boy fence me like that's raw aggression. <laughs> bro, sound like you got caught by the diddler. I can't wait for the English version. <laughs> the next comment goes, I did not understand a single word of what he said. All right, let's try to understand. <laughs> maybe I got maybe I might be right on this, but I can tell you like the last word of every line. Well, slime. Dime. I don't know what the f <laughs> No reverb, no compression, just pure ass. His demons was in a studio with him. <laughs> Bro is scaring his ops. <laughs> he sounds like he's going over the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so sick. It scared the shit out of me. What the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one that I heard. That's the one that I saw it on Instagram a couple months ago. It's the fucking funniest. <laughs> I just realized I've been laughing about this for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> These are the actual lyrics. I give you everything you want and you still thug the slime. So the next bag that I get, I can't give you a dime. You cross that line so many times, all I know is slang and iron. <laughs> and then, ah! <laughs> I've been recording for 13 minutes, 14 minutes. Uh, the whole point of this part of the vlog is supposed to be just me talking about the pump, right? Uh, I made the mistake of bringing sweatpants to a leg day pump, so uh, you 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 can't really see the pump that well, but I, I apologize. So I just decided to do some upper body poses, I don't know. Still pushing on with this whole uh, uh, bulking stuff, just gonna keep eating until I get to 170, 175, so we're gonna keep doing this. Uh, I don't think this video is over yet, I'll, be, I'll end the video later, but right now I'm gonna edit yesterday's video. Uh, yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back on the Super Bowl here. Uh, we're just going to be talking really quickly about, I guess, I don't know, aftermaths with the whole uh, Ken Zamplin stuff. Wings of Pegasus actually made a video, like a 40-minute video, talking about the response and stuff. And it was 44 minutes, and I thought, wow, great video, Wings of Pegasus. 44 minutes, though, I ain't going to be watching all that, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm at a point where I just don't care about it anymore, but I guess to, I don't know, to kind of just add nothing it's like it's like adding a drop of water into the ocean you know what i mean i just thought i'd add this because i thought it was kind of interesting a couple days ago i uh, i was just i don't know i was bored so i decided i was just gonna sing in the kitchen while i was doing some kitchen activities and there was this clip that i made and you know i felt like my vocals felt pretty good so i thought you know what let me just record this real quick and just see how it goes completely acapella this is me singing live. You should do the same, Ken. <laughs> this isn't perfect or anything, and I'll never claim for it to be perfect, but I just thought it was, I don't know, it was all right. Really just trying to, really just trying to push the vibrato out there. I guess for those of you that don't know, uh, I guess, you know, for if you don't care, it's fine. But my vibrato is rarely natural. I have to kind of like push that out. I don't know what it is. I just really haven't developed it naturally, you know what I mean? Sometimes it does happen, but I, I don't know. I don't know how to get that sweet spot, you know what I'm saying? But I'm so critical, bro. I swear to God, like that, that melted lights, it was, it felt off for some reason. I don't know. This isn't me fishing for attention or anything. I, yes, I know it's actually not a bad performance or not a bad recording, but it's just like, uh, I'm so nitpicky. I'm such a perfectionist, especially when it comes to singing, because it's like, it's an art, you know? I hope we make it, because I've been chasing another That, yeah, nah, pain. that that felt a little, that felt a little off beyond, uh, beyond, the, I don't know, it felt a little off in the throat, so I brought it back though with the belted, uh, the. If I missed a break, we're dancing in the flames, it's indescribable. 
It was alright. So I guess for those of you in the video of uh, me responding to Ken Tamplin being like, Oh, I didn't see any comments of this, but you know, if you're thinking about it, this is your response to it. But if you're thinking about, oh, you, <laughs> Ken Tamplin can sing, but I bet you can't, huh? Uh, yeah, right. I guess this is kind of a fun little video too for those of you that have been watching the vlogs for a while. And you guys have definitely heard of me singing like in the car with like music over it and you know, singing the karaoke bar where you know, there's music over it. But this is like, I think this is the first time I've ever really given you guys a, a full singing clip of, you know, acapella. Not the greatest singer. No, I'll never claim to be, but just thought I'd show you guys. What note is that? Odyssey. Uh, it's a B flat. I like to sing this song because it's like it's at a pretty comfortable range for me Especially since because I'm mostly in my mixed voice I'm pretty comfortable in my mixed voice and not much transition from chest to mix So it's it, it's a pretty comfortable song even though it's a decently high song right dancing in the flames by the weekend By the way for those of you curious uh, it hovers around B flat at like that's like it peaks up there There you go. There's me singing live no backing tracks nothing the sounds of oil spatter and my vocals. That's 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 all it is. It can't get any more raw than that. Pause. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is gonna be the last video of just mentioning anything about Ken Tamplin. See you guys tomorrow. Da, turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key and my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.